First you want to begin by outlining your mask. I started with the eye sockets and I used a white paint on a fairly thin brush. Now the shape needs to be quite triangular, you need it wider on the outside edges and getting narrower towards the inner eye and I didn't take it up above my eyebrows. I outlined the rest of my mask following the same triangular shape and I tried to make sure that it was the same thickness all the way round. I decided to keep the shape of my mask just around my eyes but you could always round out the forehead like a real skull if you wanted to cover more of your face. Next I swapped to a larger brush and I filled in the entire shape with a white paint. Now you need to make sure that you mix this colour quite thick so that it's not too wishy washy. To add some shading I took a dark grey and I roughly blended it into the white. Now you don't have to be overly neat as rough jagged lines will give your skull some texture. I focused most of the shading around the eyes and around the outside edges of the mouth but you just need to add it anywhere that you want to look sunken in. To try and make it look a bit more realistic, I painted small grey dents just above where the teeth would be and then I also added a really angry frown between my eyebrows. Next I swapped to a black paint and a thinner brush and I went over the grey areas to give them a bit more depth. I completely covered the whole eye socket with a black paint and then I carefully went round the edges just to neaten things up. And you could also add black eyeliner to the waterline if you wanted to make your eyes look really dark. For the skull nose all I did was paint a black triangle on either side and then just fill it in. And then very carefully I outlined the entire mask. Now it's much easier to paint the outline in one quick movement rather than lots of little strokes because you can always go back over with a thicker line if your edges are a bit uneven. For the teeth I painted one central line and then I roughly positioned each tooth going along the mouth. Now the further along you go you want it to look like the tooth is sitting behind the one in front of it if that makes sense. Once I had the shape that I wanted, I then went back over everything and made the outlines much thicker. Next I rinsed off all the paint from my brush and then I just used water to blend the inside edge of each tooth and it gave it a bit more shape and stopped it from looking so flat. I painted really thin strokes all the way along the gum line to try and make it look as though the teeth were sticking out of the bone. And then with some white paint I added a few highlights around the design and that's it.
All that's left to do now is put on your costume and I decided to be a fancy formal skull with a bow tie for some reason but uh, you could just add a black cape and a hood and you're all set. I've listed all the products and all the brushes that I use to create this skull over on my blog. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can go over and check that out and I'll also leave links to my Facebook and Twitter and Instagram all those bits and pieces. Um, thank you so much for watching I really hope you like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.